Hey YouTube, I haven't done any gardening videos on YouTube before. Uh, we do do a garden every year and we do, it does get a little bit bigger. This year we decided to experiment with uh, potatoes and we're going to do two methods. We did a potato grow bag and we also planted some potatoes in the garden. We started these grow bags in the garage in March and put in soil and compost in the bottom and put in the potatoes. As you can see in this picture, this is uh, now April 1st and we've already been adding soil to them as they've already kept growing upward even in the garage. After that we took them outside and this is a picture of them on April 17th and they have been growing outside for a couple weeks at this point in time. These bags are now pretty much completely filled with dirt and potatoes are looking awesome. Some of these potato plants do have some spots where the frost got to them. It actually froze one night. It was covered with plastic but the plastic was touching some of the leaves and the leaves that were touching the plastic froze and uh, so I do have some few wilted leaves. Now these were started indoors and were pretty good size when we started to bring them outside. I'll show you guys the uh, go over to the garden and show what the normal plants that were planted in the garden look like and in comparison big difference. All right. Now I've got a couple different things of potatoes here in our garden. These ones are in a hump and they're white russet potatoes and they're actually a little bit bigger. And then over here we don't have the ground mounted around them yet, but we have a few potato plants over here that are that are red plants, red potatoes. And you can obviously tell that the size of these potato plants are a huge difference between the uh, the potato plants and the grow uh, root pouches. Um, definitely, the uh, root pouch we were able to you know get them growing a good month or so early, so they got a better start. All right, today's June thirteenth. I'm getting real curious how they did. They never did flower. So anyway, we're thinking that uh, that one right there not for sure but that one right there or maybe this one I don't know one of these we're gonna go ahead and probably dump out see how we do Okay, the scale zeroed out. So we get. Almost three pounds. Cut that one in half. <laughs> Oops. Oh, we did it Down the other half. Okay. Here's our results of our potatoes so far. Um, these are both the same potato on the reds. 
this was the ones we got out of the the bag potatoes you can see they're not very large but that's out of the growing bags and that's out of all four growing bags that's actually three of them i ate the whole first one bag so that's three growing bags right there but over here is what we got straight out of the dirt straight out of the garden as you can see they're a lot larger and uh quite quite a bit more of them there's a that's a 15 foot row so definitely the right out of the ground method is the winner for me um, the grow bags we did actually make out of uh, potting soil and compost mix and uh, tried to do our best to make sure it had a nice loose fertile soil but uh, still didn't end up um, producing as well as just putting them in the dirt and not really doing anything so that's just didn't fertilize or nothing we just tilled up a section of the garden and that's what we got over here you can see that's the russets we got out of the grow bags too they're not bad russets they're definitely at least bigger than the, the ones we got out of the reds and um, that's four bags of the russet grow bags and I think the yield is probably still going to be lower than what we would have got in the garden with the russets but I don't have a russets in the garden to compare but uh, overall just looking at the size and the quantity of the potatoes the uh, just growing them in the garden wins wins out two weeks later we harvested the other two rows in the garden and this is the red potatoes that we got out of the other two rows uh, each plant produced less potatoes but quite a bit larger potatoes we overall ended up with about 35 pounds of potatoes per 15 foot row so we definitely ended up with over 100 pounds of potatoes this growing season thanks for watching